Hello everyone and in this video we will be starting with the mutate chart function. So this is the 11th video in the series. So let's start. So the first thing that I need to do is import streamlet and start the command prompt. So our canvas has started. So the first thing that we need to do here is import pandas. Okay. Now what is mutate chart or mutate data whatever add rows basically what we are going to do we are going to add rows. So let's say you have a stock market data. So obviously stock, stock market data is something that is updated every minute which means that you have to receive data and plot data and do calculation every minute while the script has been running. So obviously there has to be some way in which we can add multiple uh, rows or one row whatever to our data frame while the script is running and then also plot it and show it. So that is the use of add rows here okay or whatever mutate chart. So the way I'm going to do it is I'm going to say df let's have an initial data frame okay pd dot pd dot data frame this is the initial data frame okay and I'm also going to have numpy so import numpy as np now let me quickly go and define a new uh, data set so I'm going to say np dot random dot random okay and I'm going to have 10 comma 2 so I'm going to have 10 comma 2 which means two columns will be there and each column will be of 10 rows okay so we'll have call one as the first column and then i'm going to have call two as the second column okay so now what you can do is you can say my table so this is something that i got from the documentation i think it is very very clear in the documentation you can also go and see it okay st dot table so st dot table is basically giving a table and doing nothing else it is not giving any functionality other than that okay and it doesn't even squish or it just just displays the entire table okay so i'm going to have my table okay so this is df1 so as you can see the entire column has been printed there is no functionality whatsoever okay now what i'm going to do i'm going to add some more columns to it okay so no some more rows to it okay so i'm going to say df2 it is the second data frame and i'm going to have another data frame data frame okay i'm going to have another data frame and here too i'm going to pass some values i'm going to say np.random.random but i'm just going to add one data okay one data uh, data row i'm not going to add other things obviously the columns are going to be the same so i have to say call one and then i'm going to write call i'm going to write call two so basically this is just going to append to the uh, originally existing data as now both of them will have 11 uh, rows however i'm not going to append like that i'm just going to say my table equal to or rather my table dot add rows okay add rows and i'm going to add df2 which means till here my table was only df1 but i'm not concatenating the data frame i'm just adding it like this okay so my table has already been defined but add rows is not now going to have another data frame so now instead of 10 we will have 11 so as you can see we had 0 to 9 okay so you can go here and rerun now you have a 10th one if you run it for one more time you will have i mean obviously it will again initialize but you will have some more okay so now you can say that okay fine what if i have multiple uh, iterations so which means i have not only one uh, every second or every minute some data is coming okay one line of data is coming i'll show you in a second but before that i have to show you a little bit of my chart okay so i'll be keeping all of this just like that okay okay let me just comment this out for a second let me just comment this part out okay i'll, I'll be keeping the this i'll i'll be keeping this part or let me just comment this one also now i'm going to show you some charts because charts are also important while uh, doing some kind of uh, pic pictorial rep representation of data okay so let me have my chart so i'm going to say my chart and then i'm going to have st dot line chart okay so st dot line chart very very simple you just have df1 okay now if you have df1 and you are going to print it or you're going to run it so you can see there are there is a line chart over here now what if i want to add certain rows to it okay now i'm going to say let's remove all of this and let's just have these as comments because we don't want to show tables right now we just want to show the chart 
and I'm going to say my chart my chart dot add rows and I'm going to have df2 now before now before running I'm going to show you one thing df2 before running you see these are 0 to 9 which means these are 10 data points now if I go here I have saved it and now if I run now it has 10 data points which means one of them have been added now you would say okay fine what about again the same thing what about the second uh, you know if the data is coming second by second obviously we will do that right now so let's say our chart was as same my chart or uh, let's let's write it one more time my chart is st dot line chart and then what we are going to have we are going to have the f1 so this is the same thing that we did over here however now what i'm going to do i'm going to say for i in range so now we are going to add some values let's say five now i'm going to import time as well because otherwise it will be very very fast and you will not be able to see so i'm going to say time dot sleep and sleep for let's say one second okay every time we will sleep for uh, the program will rather sleep for one second okay now we will go back over here and then what we can do is we are going to have a data frame we will construct one data frame every second so i'm going to say data frame and i'm going to ha have certain values over here okay so here i can go and say np dot random dot random and then what you're going to do you're going to pass in one comma two so you're basically adding one row columns are going to be the same so i'm going to say columns is equals to and then we are going to have call one and then we are going to have call two now what we're going to do is after having done this there's only one part left that is saying my chart okay dot add rows and i'm going to add the df2 that has been given so you see every second our one data point will be added we'll go and rerun you see till 9 till 10 11 12 13 14 and this will end because there were only five if you uh, instead of five if you keep over here 50 again it will run till 50 so you get the point right whenever there is data some data coming dynamically it will be changing and adding data at the last of the chart or the table table you might not be using it a lot but charts definitely we use a lot so i hope you understood the video and bye